Hello everyone, welcome back to Yaya TV. My name is Akin and you are tuned in to another episode of Marketplace Apostles. Hey, hey, I'm Victoria, aka Sister Vic, and you're watching Yaya TV. We are Yaya the Americas home of Yasm Canada, Yasm North America, RCCGNA Youth, and more. Enjoy! Last week, I started sharing with you about some truths, some biblical truths that under God the idea of marketplace apostles. I said some of these truths would be familiar to you, and I hope that they are useful and reminders and some of them would be quite strange or alien to you and you would wonder if they are still applicable or practicable in the culture that we live in today but anyway i hope that they are interesting for you and hopefully inciting and we can learn one or two things in the process last week antioch featured on our story and um, today again antioch is going to feature on the story that we're going to be reading in today's video and the story is recorded in acts chapter 13 i'll read the first three verses now in the church that was at antioch there were certain prophets and teachers barnabas simeon who was called niger lucius of cyrene mania who had been brought up with Herod the tetrarch and saw as they ministered to the lord and fasted the holy spirit said now separate to me barnabas and saul for the work to which I have called them. Then, having fasted and prayed and laid hands on them, they sent them away. You see, many of us, there are so many lessons to learn from these few verses, but many of us, you and I, may never have this holy convocation that Barnabas and Saul had. We will never have a time where the Holy Spirit literally you know, <laughs> singles us out or calls us out and says, separate so and so, separate Ayotunde and Yetunde unto me for the work that I have called them to. Now, we will, some of us will never have that time. We will never have this holy convocation, this time when a voice billows out from heaven, piercing the sky and saying that, hey, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. Um, hear him, hear him. But if we don't have that moment, does that then mean that you and I are not called? Does that mean that we don't have a calling upon our lives? If you ask the average Christian today, are you a missionary? Um, they would be so quick to tell you that, no, I'm not a missionary. They might add and say that, um, well, I support missionary, mission work overseas. I support mission work in the remote parts of Africa. I support mission work in Mozambique. I do such and such mission work every year. They will, they, they will be quick to tell you that, but not many Christians are alive or would immediately admit or accept that they are missionaries. So if we don't have this moment in time where we are called out, where we are singled out by the Holy Spirit, does that mean that we don't have a calling on our lives? Or does that mean that we don't have a responsibility for mission work? I think not. I think not. As a matter of fact, many of us who are not singled out like that have um, a lot more opportunities to do mission work because of the other things that we do. So my hope is to highlight and hopefully convince you over, over this series of videos that you are indeed a marketplace apostle. Whether you have had that time of ordination or that holy convocation, whether you have it or not, you are still a marketplace apostle. If you've been a Christian for a couple of months, you must have heard this statement, I guarantee it, that the church is not the building, but that the church is you and I. And that is very true. It's true. It's very true that the church is indeed you and I. If you think about it, for most of the week, the church building is empty. Does that mean that the, the work of the church is not being done when the church building is empty? If you work the typical 40-hour week, let's, let's do some math here. If you work the typical 40-hour week and you live about 30 minutes from where you work, in a year, you would have spent 2,350 hours doing work in a year. Now, contrast that to the amount of time you will have spent in the building where the church meets for their weekend services. You would have only spent 75 hours in the year meeting in that building where the church meets. 
So you see that the time we spend outside church is so disproportionate that we cannot ignore the things we do outside church. The time we spend outside church is so large, is disproportionately larger than the amount of time we spend in church. So the things we do on the job has to matter to God. As a matter of fact, I am persuaded that what you do out there matters just as much, if not more, uh, as what the pastor does on Sunday morning. As a matter of fact, the, the pastor is supposed to equip you and I um, for the work of ministry, for the work we do in the marketplace. So when the church building is empty during the week, the, the work of the church has simply moved into the boardrooms. The work of the church has moved into the grocery stores. The work of the church has moved into meetings on Wall Street. The work of the church has moved to meetings in Washington, D.C. The work of the church has moved to the halls of Congress. The work of the church has moved to the White House. When the church is empty on Sunday morning, you and I are the carriers of the work that the church is meant to do. So whether you've had this holy convocation where the Holy Spirit singles you out, you are still called. You still have a calling on your life to be a marketplace apostle. In the next video, I will um, try and show you further proof um, from the Bible on how the Bible really makes the case for marketplace apostles and especially how the ministry of Jesus and lends credence to this idea that what we do in the marketplace really matters. The ministry of Jesus and the, the, the Bible, the story of the Bible paints a picture that what we do in the marketplace is really more critical for our faith. And, and I'll show you, hopefully, how the ministry of Jesus lends credence to this idea. Anyway, thank you very much for watching another episode of the Marketplace Apostles, and I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share this video with your friends, those you think might benefit from um, learning or listening to something like this. So please make sure to share this video with them and I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.